New Japan Pro Wrestling Class of 2007 Greatest Wrestler of All Time, Kentaro Hoshino. Technical. Suplexing. High Flying. Roughhouse Legend, Tommy Dynamite Kid Billington. Welcome to Wrestling Through the Ages. Fight 2 Turbo Edition. During the early 80s, New Japan Pro Wrestling was a gold mine, with many wrestlers traveling overseas to collect their piece of the gaijin pie. And on January 15, 1982, at Kurukun Hall, a 24-year-old Dynamite Kid, I said 24-year-old Dynamite Kid, would travel to Japan for his third Japanese wrestling tour. To duke it out against 1977's Tokyo Sports Technique Award winner, Kentaro Hoshino. How did this match turn out? Well, let's ring the bell. The match starts off with no issues. The normal Billington stiff hits. Be aware that both men wrestled each other three times prior, with Tom winning each bout, so these two are no strangers to one another in the ring. To save your precious time, I sped up the parts that aren't important to us. Kentaro elbow Tom's face. Tom retaliates with a side headbutt and applies a standing Kimura hold and fully locks it in and rolls Hoshino over and is able to apply more force to the hold. The referee, whose name I do not have, eventually realizes that something is wrong yet again, checks in and tells Tom Billington to release the lock or he will be disqualified. With a match now in mid-ruin, Tom Irish whips Kentaro into the ropes. Attempts a tombstone setup, Kentaro is having none of it and starts catch wrestling. They fumble into the corner. Referee tells Tom to let go and instead he sticks his hands into Hoshino's face. And Tom Billington knees Hoshino's groin and stiffs him hard on the back. They both will be locking up like this throughout the match, so I'll be speeding it up. The referee again fails to break them up. They do more catch wrestling in the corner and in the ropes. Until a decisive headbutt by Tom Billington. Kentaro, with previous professional boxing experience, uppercuts Dynamite's head twice. Dynamite pushes Kentaro into the corner the referee yet again fails, and yes, another groin attack. Kentaro, now winded, sticks his hands into Tom's face in order to regain air into his lungs, and now gains advantage of the fight by locking in a standing guillotine, which will bring Tom to his knees and will take a while to get out of. Kentaro really clenches this one hard. Now Dynamite successfully gains hold of Kentaro's wrist, unlocks his fingers. Kentaro can't fully relock this hold. And both men square off. Kentaro lends a right fist to Dynamite's face. Dynamite strikes back with the right of his own. They lock up until, you guessed it, the groin attack. Right fist to the body by Kentaro. Another groin attack. Kentaro misses his attempt. Dynamite lands a stiff right uppercut. They lock up. Dynamite attempts a leg takedown but fails. Some amateur wrestling holds take place. Until Kentaro now is either fish hooking Tom or grabbing hold of the side of his neck. It's hard to tell. The referee finally rises up and becomes a hero by unlocking Hoshino's hold on Tom. And once all that cools down, Tom Billington Irish whips Hoshino into the ropes. He comes back and avoids the tombstone yet again. And now the clever English chap goes to body slam Kentaro, but mid move pinches Hoshino's head with his knees, alters his left hand, and holds Hoshino in for what has to be the ugliest looking tombstone I have ever seen. I do not know if Hoshino suffered any major injuries from this match, but I believe at least a concussion happened here. Dynamite goes up, 
Headbutt. Covers Hoshino. Now there's a lot of falsities and inaccurate information regarding the aftermath of this match. Many believe the two hated one another and refused to work together, but that is not the case. Both would face off each other three days later in a tag match with Hulkin 78 against Kentaro and Tiger Mask. They would also face off against each other nine times following that tag match. Thank you for the ongoing support, and I'll see you next Friday for another episode of Wrestling Through the Ages.